You know, the gut has a bunch of stuff that it secretes that tells the rest of the body about health status. This is why the gut microbiome is so critical. I have a colleague upstairs from my lab at Stanford, Justin Sonnenberg, who's shown that the ingestion of two or three servings of fermented food per day dramatically decreases the levels of interleukin-6, these inflammatory cytokines. Really? Increases levels of interleukin-10. So like kombucha? Kombucha, kimchi. There's actually, it sounds disgusting, I've never tried, but fermented cottage cheese is out there. Oh. Um, in Iceland, they eat the fermented shark. Those people are animals. Those people are different. Um, <laughs> uh, they, they are different. I've been eating just fermented cabbage recently. Perfect. I got it from a grocery store. I was like, this stuff is good. It's yeah. weird. The Sonnenberg Lab published a paper in Cell, another one of these premier journals, super, super stringent journal today, showing that if you ingest two or three servings of these fermented foods, you, you basically what you do is you create an acidity in the gut that's perfect for the anti-inflammatory environment. Hmm. Or it's, I shouldn't say it's perfect, it's ideal. It pushes you in the right direction. 